campus of George Washington University in the heart of Washington, D.C., the U.S. Capitol, where students have set up a Gaza Solidarity Encampment. This is a unity encampment, so it's not just students from GW, students from Georgetown University, American University, Gallaudet, Howard, other universities in this area. We are demanding a divest and a disclose of any ties, a boycott, an academic boycott of any ties with Israeli universities and with the Israeli regime. This is a movement. This is absolutely a movement. I think it's a historical moment. If we cannot be there for our Palestinian people, then the bare minimum is that we stand here and we shout free Palestine. One thing to note is that the movement is very much led by Jewish students. I am Jewish and I know that my future and liberation um, is inherently tied to the liberation of all people, the liberation of Gaza, of Palestinians. So these protests are not to threaten Jews. These protests are to raise the national cry, the international cry for a ceasefire, for a hostage exchange, for peace to stop sending military funding, to stop investing in violence and genocide. That is what these protests are for, and it is inherently our Jewish values to not um, raise a sword against another nation, to not oppress a stranger, um, and our safety is inherently tied to the safety of all people. So we are so glad to be here um, organizing alongside Palestinians for um, justice and thriving future for all. All of a sudden, when we started to see faculty and staff and some students lock arms around the encampment here on GW's campus, they tell me that they received a tip that police will soon be here. And this is their way to protect the encampment, to protect the students. One student told me, though, they want to see more faculty and there are not enough faculty out here to lock arms, which is why students have joined them to protect this encampment. I, I was an activist um, on Israel Palestine.